Thanks. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, Dan and I are heading to our tennis lesson today. And this is where we're picking up the vlog. And I wanted to show you my cutie new little tennis outfit. <gasps> it was on sale. We got it at Sporting Life. And I think it is just so cute. Look at this cutie little matching fit. Meryl agrees apparently. Yes, Meryl. Do I look like a tennis professional? But speaking of said tennis lesson, we are late. We gotta run. And it is also still very cold outside. It's cold, but I also get so hot and sweaty when I'm playing, so that's why I'm half naked when I play. I also wanna take a moment to appreciate this adorable little free people yucket. Isn't it the cutest thing? Cool. All right, let's run. Keys, phone. I don't know where my wallet is. Lego my ego. <laughs> uh, feel the sun in your eyes, babe. Feel it in your eyes. A rare, beautiful sight. Okay, we've got our gear going in. Okay, we're back, back. I have showered, I did my hair, and I actually don't know why I did my hair because I don't actually think I'm gonna put makeup on. Today is actually Sunday, so um, I have been putting off for, I don't even remember when the last time I did some kind of like closet clear out something in a vlog. And I just, I desperately need to because I always like declutter on the fly. Like if I do a haul or I get some new pieces in, I always try to like do a little in and out. And so I've been like collecting a pile that I've been needing to put on Depop for so long. But also like, I think in general, I've just been having a little style, not, not necessarily a style overhaul, but a style... What's the word I'm looking for? A style streamline, I guess. Like I've just been really, really, you know what? I was watching Susie's video and she did a closet clear out and I was like, oh my God, I like, I desperately need to do this. Thank you for this push, Susie. Uh, but I very much feel what she was talking about in her video where you, I'm just getting to the point where I think, <laughs> like, listen, I'm turning 30. I have lived my <laughs> rough years in the twenties. We have gone through many stages and I feel like I'm just finally really coming into my style and what I feel the most comfortable in and it's always so funny like obviously my my life essentially my adult life is documented online and it's always interesting going back and seeing videos and going back and seeing old photos and outfits that I would wear and like style choices that I had and how much every year changes and how much I've like really been growing into my own style. And I think that I've always carried like a general idea of what I love. Like I love the classy lady style. I do love oversized things. I love minimal, I love tailoring, suiting, what have you. But there's just been so many phases that we've all gone through together. And I know I'm not the only one. It's always so funny. Like it happens your whole life. Like you go back and look at what you wore in junior high, things you wore in high school. Like I think we all have those old photos where we're like, oh my God, what was my style? What was I wearing? And though a few years back, I kind of gave up on my little capsule wardrobe attempt and idea, I pretty much wanna just continue living by those principles where I want things to be excellent quality. I want things to last in my wardrobe. Obviously I love an occasional like fun outfit. I love an occasional trendy piece. I love dressing up and like having a fit for events and whatnot. Like that is fun. I do enjoy that. However, that is not a, a sustainable practice if you will. So really, really I've been just wanting to tackle this, do a closet clear out and just really simplify my wardrobe because I need to have outfits like prepared and set aside or else I won't wear it. Like I stare at my closet and I'm like, ah. Was it Steve Jobs who said this? Who is the thing? Was it one of those tech billionaire dudes? There was like a TikTok video I saw where it's like, so-and-so has however many of the same shirts made so they don't have to think about it in the morning and like save that brain space. Like that's what I want. I wanna have like my, you know, let's say 10 go-to outfits and just be able to pick that up, not have to think about it, get dressed. And I feel like I've just kind of lost sight of um, what that is in my closet right now. And I really need to streamline and also see if there are any missing gaps in my wardrobe too. So let's do that. We're gonna have a little Sunday cleanup together, guys. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to mention that I have been drinking these Zevia ginger beers. 
I know this is so random and completely unrelated, but I'm going to crack one right now because I, I usually like to have like a snack or a beverage as I do these things. And if I wasn't vlogging it, I also do this while I'm watching Netflix. Like I'll put my laptop here and just declutter and clean while I'm watching, but uh, we're going to do it together. So I'm going to have my little beverage. Uh, it's pretty freaking delicious. I actually don't understand the science. Like it literally tastes like a succulent, sugary ginger beer, but it has no sugar. Also, I just realized this entire time I've had my white strips in. I'm so sorry. Uh, it is Sunday, so we're just multitasking here, guys. We're beautifying and cleaning all at the same time. <laughs> all right, let's 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 go. So the first section that I wanted to tackle are my t-shirts. And this is kind of a bold statement because if you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll know that this is big. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of over the graphic t-shirt. I know that's crazy, but... I just find myself reaching more and more and more for literally my white and black t-shirt and that's it. Having a little graphic tee and a blazer, whatever, in some circumstances it's fine, but I really, I'm just kind of over it. I don't know why, I, I just want it to be clean and simple and I find like a crisp, clean white shirt just does so much more for me and my soul than having some like graphic tee. And I know that's big because I've been such a fan for so many years, but I think I'm gonna part ways with my graphic tees. I know it's crazy, but it's just, I feel content with this decision and I think that's all that matters. So I think a huge push into like that decision was basically from my Marissa Webb t-shirts with this little like neck cutout. I just love these so much, wear them so much. They're like a really beautiful, thick quality fabric. And I just find that this like, <laughs> it's funny that I'm saying clean, but it's literally like a ripped style. But I don't know, just this more like crisp, plain t-shirt, I feel like does so much more for my wardrobe and is so much more versatile than having like a big red font or like a very, you know, specific summery graphic. I find I just get so much more wear out of my plain t-shirts than the graphic ones. And I just want to simplify. My other two plain t-shirts that I have are actually from Lululemon and I've had them for a number of years. I have a black one and a white one and they have like a really nice thick seam down the middle. These are so beautiful and some of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe and the fabric is like perfect. And again, I've had these for years, like a number of years and they still look brand new. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. And just having a white and a black one in the wardrobe, perfect. Honestly, that's, it's just, I wanna leave it at that. <laughs> as far as the rest of my shirts go, I think I, I really struggle to get rid of anything in this like literally specific blouse, like button shirt category because it's just the most worn and obviously most hoarded piece of clothing in my wardrobe. And I do get so much wear out of all of them depending on the season. So I do struggle with this one a bit, but I do know that there's a lot of like duplicate items in here that I don't need. <laughs> and like some of the more specific patterned ones like this Burberry shirt that I bought. I bought this two or three years ago now. I don't remember what collection they had come up with it, but it was one of those things where I had bought it because of seeing it on Instagram so much and I loved the pattern and I thought it was like a really, like it's still a loud trendy piece obviously, but it's, it's a neutral pattern. So at the time I was like loving the idea of layering this up under my vests and blazers and what have you, even just wearing it like open and billowy in the summer. But I think I posted one photo in it. Like I wore it at home one day, but other than that, I've literally never worn this. So I think actually that should just be my answer. And I should just part ways with it, even though it was a bajillion dollars and it's so silly. This is what happens when you buy trendy pieces. They just never, Never get as much wear as the basics. I might have even convinced myself to declutter this once before, actually. I don't know why I have such a love for it. I do, I do look at it and I'm just like, oh, I love it so much, but I don't wear it. So that should be answer enough. Yeah, no, I can't do it. <laughs> we're just gonna ignore this. This is my very happy piece of my closet and we're not gonna, we're not gonna touch anything else there. We're gonna skip the blazers because I love my blazers and I don't wanna part with any of them. They bring me so much joy. Uh, but let us do talk about bags because I do like to think that I actually keep quite a streamlined bag collection in comparison to some things I've seen on the internet for sure. And I really do get so much wear out of all my bags. I kind of have like a bag for every purpose and some of the bags in my wardrobe like just get so much wear and love and I've had them for years. So I'm very happy with the collection that I've got. I will say that the one bag I'm kind of 
missing is like a true nighttime bag. This envelope bag actually from YSL that I've had for, I don't, I want to say five years now. This is like one of my most worn evening bags, but sometimes it can actually be a little bit too big and not like formal enough in a way. It's almost a little bit too casual for certain scenarios. So for like formal events, my most worn and used bag is my little Fendi baguette. This has seen many, many event and wedding in its lifetime. I get so much use and wear out of this bag. It's fabulous but I would love to get like a darker version of this size of bag, you know, like a black one or some kind of like maybe more sparkly, like dressed up formal version of this because obviously like this goes with so much. It's white and gold. It's perfect. It, it fits with most things, but I would love to have like a dark evening bag and I feel like that would complete kind of my happy little bag collection. So this one gets so much love, not going anywhere. Another bag that gets so much love is my flippin' Bottega pouch towel bag, my little Terry bag. Oh my God, I love this thing so much. And I also have the pink one and I had that for sale. I think it's still up on my vestiaire actually. It's currently sitting right up there on the top shelf and I am so torn about it. I still don't know if I wanna part ways with it because I do just get so much wear out of my green one and I love the towel bags and I wear them all summer long and they're perfect and I adore them and they're just, you know, I'm still torn about whether or not I actually wanna part ways with the pink one, but it is currently listed on my best year. So besides the pink one that is currently listed, there's only one other bag that I actually think I'm gonna part ways with and you might be surprised if you watched my bag collection video, but it is the little Bottega mini Jody bag and I did buy this in the green and oh my god I waited so long to buy this. I thought about it for so long. I thought it would be like a completing bag to my collection and I just haven't worn it. I think I wore it to one Dior dinner like the Dior holiday dinner last year and that is the one and only time it's ever left the house and I don't really know why I look at it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really lovely, like practical night out bag, but I kind of regret actually not getting this in a more neutral color because I think if I had, I would have worn it a lot more, but for such a bright neon bag, that's where my like Terry bag comes into play. Like I have this and I almost always, 99% of the time would prefer to reach for this one out of the two green bags. So I think it was just silly for me to have bought uh, two bags that are so similar in color when one is just clearly getting so much wear. So I think that this is gonna be the one bag that I do part with in my collection. Oh. <laughs> you know what, since we're actually on the topic, I need advice. I am like desperately asking for you guys for some advice because if you follow me on the gram, you've seen these poking about every now and again, but I had bought the Bottega Veneta stretch sandals and I bought them in white and I bought them in orange and I love them so much. And this just filled such a void in my heels collection and <laughs> I love them so much. I think they just look so beautiful on the foot and I wore them in Hawaii on the benefit trip and I they just I just felt fabulous and they made me feel so good. And when we were walking back from the event to the hotel room, the little strap is not actually attached. It's loose, okay? And one of the straps fell off because I took them off to walk the long like a grass journey back to the hotel room, lost the strap went scouring, called the front desk, called the cleaners, asked room service. I asked everybody, I'm like, have you seen this tiny little leather strap? Nowhere to be found. I have emailed, I have called, I have gone to multiple Bottega Veneta stores and they will not replace this strap. This shoe has just been sitting here strapless and it makes me so sad. It's such a waste, oh my God. And I have called like numerous cobblers to ask if they can create, like surely, I'm like, surely I can bring this strap and be like, hello, can you please just make me one? Uh, so my plea basically is please tell me if you guys know of like a leather maker or something where I can go and get this made because I actually, I think it's pretty crap for like a designer brand to be so unhelpful. And like, I know you guys have the ability or like studios or something somewhere where you repair things. Like I'm willing to pay, like I will pay whoo, the price of whatever this strap would cost. And they're just like, no, sorry, that's not a service we offer, blah, blah. So that's pretty sad. And anyway, so these are, sitting here unloved and unworn in my wardrobe, but not by choice. If anyone knows where I can get a little strap made, please, uh, please do tell me. <laughs> now I don't bring you guys into this section a whole lot because it's a, uh, it's most often a damn mess in here. Uh, but this is where I have like my drawers where I keep like my jewelry and my underwear and workout clothes and all that. And then I have all of my 
knitwear in here. So things that need to be folded and not hung live in here. Also my dresses and skirts are hanging here. And then I have all of my sweatsuits and like sweatpants and roaming around stuff. So honestly, I wear sweaters almost every single day. So I don't see much decluttering happening in here. However, it does need to reorganize. And I also need to like switch this up because winter is upon us and I'm gonna be reaching for like my really big thick sweaters very soon. So I kind of wanna revisit what I have, sort them out and see if there's anything that we can declutter. to separate them into piles because right now all the sweaters have just been like thrown onto the shelf and not by type if that makes sense like I want to separate like my turtlenecks from my crew necks from whatever and that will just help me see what I have much better this is another piece that I really need to reconsider this winter if you guys remember I bought this Smythe succulent beautiful uh, big chunky knit vest last year and I really did not wear it as much as I thought that I was going to so I'm gonna have to reevaluate this I'm gonna give it another winter season and see how it fits in my wardrobe but last year definitely did not wear it as much as I had anticipated that I would and I need to see what kind of life this lives in my wardrobe again <laughs> oh my god also this ray vest I love so much oh I also think I'm just gonna make a rule I want to hang all of my cardigans so I'm just like separating my cardigans over here so I can hang them up I prefer my cardigans hung that sounds really bad but <laughs> anyway this lily silk sweater that I had new in you guys I've already worn it so much it's so good this is kind of also why I want to do a rejig because this has been getting so much life from me it just made me think like I don't need so much <laughs> Ugh, this little crew neck i bought from philippa k last year i love so dearly but oh my god it's very very itchy and it also gets on everything so i need to see how i wear see how we go this winter and evaluate that and i think because i have that i don't need to oh it is it is so unique though oh, this is where i get torn like these two sweaters are obviously so similar but this one's like extra big and chunky, but I just find the knitting to be so unique. I bought this in Copenhagen in February. When I say last year also in these moments, I just kind of mean last winter because for example, like this one I was about to say last year and I'm like, I bought this this year. It was February of this year, but last winter. Yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. It also has kind of, there's almost like a pinky peachy hue. It's not like a true cream and that kind of bugs me. It's the same thing with beige when it comes to like suits. Like some of them can be a beige suit but it'll pull like pink or it'll pull a little bit green and it just kind of sits off. It just seems off to me. So this one is a little bit pinky. I don't know, I'll sit on this one. If I end up putting it on my Depop, then you'll know my decision, but I'm not decided about this. I'm gonna ask Dan, I'm gonna put it on and see what he thinks. <laughs> All right, I've got all the piles separated. I'm gonna put it back in the closet. I actually changed my mind. I don't think I'm gonna hang up my heavier cardigans because if they're super heavy, then they're just gonna hang and get those little horrible dents in the shoulders, right? That was that was silly of me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my cardigans back here. So I've been hoarding and collecting knitwear for for many years, for sure. I mean, I live in Canada. It's like the <laughs> they're the few cold weather items that we that we need in Canada. Um, but I will say that the one item that I think is missing in my wardrobe that I do wish I had, and that I'm gonna be on an active hunt for, is like a shorter, thin, true ivory, like lighter cream cardigan. I've got a lot of dark things, but I want like a lighter cardigan. That is on my closet wish list. Sorry, I left you hanging for a little bit and went to eat some dinner. And now I need to hop back to it. So I've done a good chunk. Like I mentioned, I had already had a good pile that I had decluttered that I need to add onto my Depop. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This is the most time consuming part. Um, and I think I'm gonna actually like put all of the things on and post that for Depop, which I don't normally do. Normally I just like hang it on a hanger and post a picture of it, but I think I'm gonna actually like put everything on and take proper photos and post it to my Depop. So I'm gonna pop on some music and go at it. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm having that problem where I'm putting things on and then I'm deciding that I actually wanna keep them. <laughs> I haven't put these a Goldie balloon jeans on in so long. And I think they're one of those jeans that specifically only looks good with heels, but I'm like, oh, they're so nice. Now I don't know if I want to sell them, but again, they only look good 
with heels. They don't necessarily look all that great with like sneakers or boots. So, huh. Even this is a cute little, cute little fit. But will I wear it? Will I wear it? That's the problem. Okay, I feel like I've been posting for 12 years now. Don't mind this. I have some final pieces that I just need to give a little steam and then I'm gonna post. And if you guys have seen my Depop, you will have seen this dress. I have had this on my Depop forever, forever. And I just put it on and I was like, you know what? I'm keeping it. I love it so much. And I just, I'm just gonna make it work for me. So it has like a little bow and I just wrapped it around my neck, which I think gives very like chic Parisian feel. And I put my high boots on with it. And I just think it's fabulous. And I've decided I love it and I'm gonna keep it. So this one is going off of the deep. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done trying things on for today. I just put my pajamas on and I'm ready for bed. I have a few pieces of insight. Absolutely use those pieces of insight. But first of all, it really helps if you've like decluttered your closet, it really helps to physically put the pieces on and see how they make you feel because that really like swayed me and changed my mind on a few things that I was gonna keep as well as a few things that I was planning on getting rid of. So put your clothing on your body and see how they feel in your body now. Maybe you fluctuate between sizes frequently like I do and you just wanna see how they're, how they're looking. You gotta physically put them on. Uh, secondly, these pair of black heels that I have from Zara and I've had in my closet forever from Zara. They've really been underappreciated. I was using these to just try everything on and I'm like, damn, I really need to like reconsider wearing heels frequently in my life because they just make you look and feel that much extra fabulous. You know, like if I was a corporate girly, you best believe I'd be rocking up to work every day in these little stilettos in my suits. Oh my God, honestly, I think I just need to live out my corporate girly dreams that I never did following university because I just I just feel as though I'm the type of person that would thrive in that environment. <laughs> anyway, uh, put on your heels. That makes you feel fabulous. And my final revelation is that I need to get dressed more. Isn't that insightful? I know. You're welcome for this riveting life advice. <laughs> anyway, I posted a ton on my Depop and I'm just gonna finish up the last few pieces tomorrow. And that'll be it for me. And that's it for this lovely little closet clear out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It really does. I feel lighter after I do this. It feels very good doing a little roundup of all the things in your closet and doing a little dust up and a little clear out and clean up. So thanks for joining me today, guys. But before I leave you, be sure to check the description box to see how you can enter to win today's Landmas giveaway. If you missed all of the products that are in the 12 days of Landmas giveaways, you can go ahead, check out the video from December 1st, the first day of Landmas, where I do a walkthrough of all the products that are in the giveaways. Otherwise, I'm also gonna list everything that you get in the giveaway box in the description box down below. So be sure to enter to win, check below for all the details and don't miss today's Landmas giveaways. A winner will be chosen in 24 hours from the time that this video goes live. I hope you're all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!